If you want to make real passive income online on Amazon KDP, then you should be publishing toddler coloring books. As you can see, I searched for toddler coloring book 1 to 3 and we can see some best selling books. This is number 358 in all books. This book is 2147 in all books and this is 627 in all books. These are selling multiple copies every single day. The good thing is these books are really easy to create. I will show you a really simple way to create these coloring pages and turn them into coloring books for Amazon KDP. This niche is really really popular and this is evergreen niche. People need coloring books for their toddlers 1 to 3 age. I have published my book and it is selling. Let me show you the very quick process to create these coloring books inside Affinity Designer. You can use any other design software as well. So let's just dive in. As you can see I have created these very simple coloring pages inside Affinity Design and you can see I wrote Apple then I drew a shape very simple similar to Apple with the help of these shape and the pen tool. I am using these two tools here shapes and the pen tool and text. Then I added very simple circle and added a line and here I wrote ball. This is cap. Similarly I drew this using shapes and the pen tool and this is zone. So in this video I will recreate couple of these pages to give you an idea of how simple these are to create. Let's go to our file here create new 8.5 to 11 inches you can add page width and page height here and select the DPI to 300. Here you can add the margins at least 0.5 inches. Make sure this is enabled. It will automatically add 0.5 inch margins all around the page. Now click create. To just go back to file you can save it onto your hard drive. Firstly we will be adding very simple text box here. All you need to do is increase the font size to something like 72 and write your very first letter like Apple. The main thing is using very proper font. I have down downloaded some fonts from Creative Fabrica. I will leave the link in the description below. You can get these for free by having access to the Creative Fabrica free trial. For this demo video, I am using this font that is Jumping Unicorn. Before increasing the size, I will increase the spacing between the letter. Just go to this character icon here and just use this tracking and increase the tracking to up to 45 or 50 something like this. Then increase the size like this. Close this one and move it a bit down. Then go back to swatches here if you don't see swatches you can go to view tool here and then go to studio and here you can enable swatches swatches here are the swatches click on this text set the fill color to white and click on the stroke add a stroke of 5.7 if you want to create very simple pages you can increase the size of the stroke here we can draw a very simple apple for this purpose I used this heart tool click on the heart tool here while holding the shift key from your keyboard just draw a simple part here like this then you can click here convert to curves you can go here to node tool and it will enable the nodes here you can increase the size like this go to the stroke tool and add a stroke of 5.7 like this then you can simply use these handles to change look and feel of the shape like this like this here we go also change to add a little groove here you can hold the alt key from your keyboard while holding alt key you can move single handle if you don't hold the alt key it will change like this and if you hold the alt key from your keyboard it will allow you to manipulate the single side of the angle use this pen tool use the same stroke click once here here again here and add a triangle shape like this and you are done with creating your very simple apple coloring page for toddlers now click on the shape and make sure the fill color is set to purely white or you can also use the no fill color. Now to save this coloring page onto your hard drive you can go here to the files and click on the export and select the PNG or any other file type you want to use and click on the export toddler coloring pages and I am going to save this under PNG's Apple. By the way if you want to create toddler's coloring page or many multiple coloring books for Amazon KDP you can use coloring bookmaker tool it comes with over 9000 pre-made coloring templates under different categories you can see I have quickly created this coloring page within coloring bookmaker tool okay all you need to do is create a blank page here and then you can go to the categories and under categories there are many many coloring pages like if you go to under the element section here go to bats ants, bears like I'm going to birds thing something like birds and here I can add a very simple coloring pages for birds okay, like this and then I can go to the text tool here add a text 
uh, here I have white bird and I can increase the size select this go to alignment center line and then I can change the font to something like poppins finally go to the effects here and select a follow effect so my coloring page is ready to create a second coloring page i go to this select duplicate scene and i can change this to something like cat then i can go to the categories here and under animals i can search for cats there is cats coloring pages a lot of cats here i can add a very simple cat coloring page like this one and it will add a very simple cat coloring page onto my canvas once i have done with my coloring pages i can rename this to toddler coloring book and finally i go to downloads and download them as a whole coloring book toddler coloring book save let me show you how it looks so here is our coloring book you can see this is first page and this is second page and this is third page cat so very quickly you can create coloring books using coloring book maker tool i will leave the link in the description below now let's go back to our original video of creating coloring pages inside affinity design then i will go back and click on the files and export and this time i will save this as psd export and i will write apple third time i will go back and export this as pdf so if you are interested in getting access to these i will upload them to gumroad and you can download them so once you have created your very first page all you need to do is go back to artboard tool here click once here and then click on the insert artboard it will insert an artboard here you can rename the artboard now control plus j to duplicate you can see it has duplicated the artboard here on the duplicated artboard you can write ball click on the move tool and just move we have created our second page this was apple and this is ball all you need to do is just simply rename resize go back to move tool and place it in the center get rid of this one this shape only you can see changes here now all you need to do is go back to our circle or ellipse tool and while holding the shift key draw a simple ellipse here and make sure the stroke is same to give this look and feel of a ball all you need to do is go back to the pen tool and click once here click here in the middle and click now using the nod tool click on the center point here and turn this into convert to smooth like this you can manipulate the look and feel of this line to make sure it looks like a ball shape so we have created our second coloring page similarly you can duplicate this ball artboard control plus j move it here like this and rename this here you can write donut resize it not resize it just arrange it okay move here and use a bit zoom now adding a donut is very very simple all you need to do is add a circle like this using ellipse tool this one then go back to here convert to donut and it will convert this to into donut shape go to the whole radius here and reduce the size or increase the size of this donut here next we can add a very simple cloud shape here go back to shapes and use cloud tool here while holding the shift key draw a simple cloud move it here like this enable alignment by clicking on this button here increase the size again while holding the shift move it to align this click on cloud tool and reduce the number of bubbles if you want to create a very simple donut coloring page now we have created multiple coloring pages all we can do is click on the single artboard like click on the ball artboard go back to the file and export as png i will export this to a temporary folder oh, like temp ball next i will go back to the donut export make sure area is selected donut only not whole document okay png export and here we can write in this way you can create very very simple coloring pages let me show you so you can see we have added very simple coloring pages here if you want to add a border to your coloring page you can do that going to the selected artboard here you can add a very simple shape so we have added a border here if you want to increase or decrease the thickness of the border all you need to do is reduce stroke so in this way this is really really easy and really really quick way to create toddlers coloring pages and you can turn these coloring pages into coloring books i have also made a video about how you can format coloring pages for amazon kdp you can watch this video after watching this tutorial video this is all from me today if you want a quicker way to create coloring pages then do check out coloring book maker tool I will leave the link in the description below thanks for watching see you in the next video